We the students of Bihar's second year SVIT Vasad visited Bhuj in Kutch, a land renowned for its ethnicity and festive atmosphere. From 2nd to 5th August 2022, under the able guidance of our teachers, Prof. Vignya Shah, Prof. Praveen Sutar, and Prof. Jayashree Mishra. In this journey, we came across majestic places, beautiful complexes, and indigenous construction designs. Take a glimpse of our learning through this video. Surjan, the thread of life. Surjan means creativity in Sanskrit. It is not for profit organization working with craftswomen in Kutch to revitalize the ancient craft of hand embroidery. Surjan works for the representation of cultural products, which stands for the woman empowerment. Surjan is located in Burj near Bujodi village. Surjan craftswomen create a range of beautiful hand embroideries with a thread that are sold all over India and abroad from which they get income that is necessary to survive their life in Burj as it has seen crisis. An earthquake occurred in, on 16 June 1819 in Burj and demolished thousands of buildings. Majority of the people in Burj has suffered economical crisis and also lacing for food. So these people, a particular lady called, we, uh, she is fondly referred to as Kaki. Her name is Mrs. Chandabhain Shrock. She is no more. Intellectually, she also has happened to her won the uh, So the image over there is of her? Yes, yes, yes. So she also got the award of the Rolex uh, Award for Enterprise way back. Right? So uh, she came with the intention of trying to help out people with whatever, either money or food or other assistance or something like that. But the community denied that offered free services and replied to Chandavan that they don't want any kind of begging material to survive, that they can live on their own. This is not a commercial activity or anything, right? They, they just believe in making things colorful and that's why they have started doing that. So slowly she, start, she saw the business angle of it. And she thought from the and point she got of view. In those colors. Yeah. Now, then you know, the more important thing was, you know, that she got more interested and drawn into the fact of empowering ladies. Right? See, that is the bottom line of uh, Susan and their uh, thinking and uh, That's why from, it's like cloth and all because ladies are most interested in this weaving and all. Yeah, exactly. So she tried to tell them that, you know, okay, come on, I mean, this is super work. I have not seen anything as good as this. So why don't you think of commercializing it? This is how the craftswoman started working for Chandaban and Shrujan was established in 1969. In 2001, again an earthquake occurred and demolished the whole Shrujan building. And at last, in 2004, new building was established as the new campus of Shrujan which is designed by Indio architects with earthquake resistance construction techniques. Talking about the planning of Surjan, so our site is located here and is surrounded by the power stations which approach to the internal road and that the road is directly connected to the main highway. One of its boundary connects to the highway which approach the ease of accessibility. We can enter the site from here which welcomes us into the campus of Shuljan, in which the parking is allotted on the north boundaries of the site. On the front side of the building, coconut trees are planted, which gives large shaded area and also don't obstruct the people as their height is large. Ground is covered with bricks and spaces are divided by using different brick patterns, which elaborately blend Building is situated longitudinally east to west and building forms are arranged in a way that courtyard is forming in the center of the building. So, whole day this courtyard is shaded by the shadow of the building which allows large open area to use. Bhuj is coming into seismic zone 5. So, to make building earthquake resistant, whole building is divided into the 5 part with 4 expansion joint. Entrance of the building has high plane which lead us into the entrance passageway which is gradually in slope. Rough quota stones are used for flooring of passage. From passage we can enter into the retail store where products of Shrujan which they made on their own are showcased for the sale.
Retail store is divided into two levels, ground floor and mezzanine floor, and double height is created here. Staircase made of wood and metal allows us to go on mezzanine floor and mezzanine floor is also made up of wooden and metal frame. On the back side of the retail store there is a meeting hall which commercially used for the small gathering or for meet ups with businessmen. Workshops are situated on the back side of the building so that they can receive much of the natural light from both of the sides and also so that the workers don't get disturbed from the people who come to the retail store. On the north side of the workshop, top hung windows are provided in three rows and for stack ventilation, single row of top hung window is provided above the lintel. On the south side of the wall, small windows are provided and for the indirect light to come into the workspace. Windows like this are given. Admin block is separated from public space and semi-public space which is directly accessed from courtyard and it gives perfect environment to work in. Most featureable element of this building is wind tower. Wind tower catches wind from topmost part and pull down the temperature of wind and circulate it to the all floor plates of the building. First floor is divided into the three parts semi-public space, private space and large open terrace for fabric drying. All three parts has their own separate staircase, outer staircase which access for auditorium and guest room, backyard staircase for worker who comes to dry fabric and internal staircase to go into the design cell area. There is a small basement area below the retail store which acts as a textile conservation cell which is open towards waste, waste side of the building and can also be used from here. student of architecture for us, Shrujan is of great importance. As Shrujan is located in Bhuj, which is an earthquake prone and hot dry area, they have taken care of a lot of climatic conditions and airflow. Now talking about its space, space is divided into three parts, open space, semi-open space and closed space. Spaces are divided in such a way that the workers who work in the workshop are not disturbed by the people who come to the retail store. Courtyards are formed in the center of the building so that it remains shaded by the building's shadow the entire day. Talking about the wind tower, the wind tower catches wind from top and cools it down further, provides it to the other floors. The use of expansion joint as it is located in seismic area, the buildings are divided into four parts and the expansion joints are added in it. The expansion joints are added so that the structure absorbs the impact of the earthquake which is transferred to the building. The flooring pattern was different from courtyard to the entrance of the building. The flooring pattern near the courtyard is different from the flooring pattern near the parking area as it depicts the difference. After visiting Shrujan building, we learn that 
how to make building earthquake resistance shading the courtyard so that the heat transfer is low how to orient the building as per the climatic conditions how to show hierarchy of spaces as per the requirement the design of the doors and windows according to the climatic conditions seen in bhuj connectivity of the spaces how to cool down temperature of the building by using the winter भारत के गुजरात राज्य के कच्छ विस्तार में तकरीबन भूज से 15 किलोमीटर की दूरी पर आया हुआ गया यह खामे खामिर कच्छ की मिट्टी की खुशबू है वहाँ की संस्कृति और उनके लोगों का हुनर ऐसी ही कला को दुनिया में प्रदर्शित करने के लिए कच्छ नवनिर्माण अभियान और नेहरू फाउंडेशन फॉर डेवलपमेंट के सहयोग से सन 2005 में खामिर का जन्म हुआ सन 2001 के भूकंप के बाद खामिर और उसके आसपास के लोगों को आत्मनिर्भर बनाने के लिए किया हुआ गया ये सफल प्रयास मतलब खामिर खामिर वो कच्छ की संस्कृति प्रदर्शित करता है जो नए नए माटी काम भरत काम और बांध काम शैली को प्रदर्शित करता है बे मस्त जगह है। अरे ये बहुत अच्छी जगह है चल इसकी इंफॉर्मेशन और ज्यादा मैं तुझे दिखाता हूँ खामिर क्या है ये तो हमने देख लिया बट उसके आसपास क्या है क्या वो बता सकती है अरे उसके लिए हमें साइट एनालिसिस करना पड़ेगा मैं तुझे बताती हूँ देख आगे साइट एनालिसिस के लिए हमें प्लान स्टडी करना बहुत ज़रूरी है एज वी नो किसी भी बिल्डिंग को डिज़ाइन करने से पहले उसके स्पेसेस को जानना उससे बाइफरगेट करना ज़रूरी है जैसे कि कवर्ड सेमी कवर्ड ओपन बिल्ड एंड अनबिल्ड स्पेसेस देर इज टेजल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ बिल्ड एंड अनबिल्ड फॉर्म कंसिडरिंग पीपल वर्किंग दर और इंटर रिलेशन बिटवीन क्लोज सेमी ओपन एंड ओपन स्पेसिस इज बीन क्रिएटेड Talking about spaces, Khamer is divided into three blocks: workshop area, administration, and residential. If we consider massing, each model is arranged in a way where they get their own individual space for workshop. The training area is a club of three blocks, which are repeated and placed on the site contours, forming an informal and interactive space. Seventy percent of total area consists of open area, which includes circulation and workshop area. The voids organizes the surrounding and permit circulation. Courtyards and windows are placed such as it acts as a cooling service. Now most openings are to the internal courtyard which provides cross ventilation and natural cooling. Some of the interesting design considerations of Khamer are the materials they choose wisely which takes long time to heat up. Buffer space is been provided between living areas and outside. Light colors are used in courtyard spaces for better effects of light. Spaces are designed user friendly and suitable for artists to work there. As we know, our site is spread in 8 acres and there are total 11000 visitors annually. Now, talking further about plans, ground floor plan includes necessary circulation and landscaping area, training and exhibition area, workspace and services. functions of first floor are work space meeting rooms and guest rooms you are talking about administrative block it is designed for 10 users only are aur bhi jo khamir ka plan hai na are ha ye khamir ka hi plan hai isme hum aur design concept bhi samjhaya ki kaise wo uska form development hua tha iske bare mein bhi khamir ka concept ek local street pattern hai खामिर की डिज़ाइन आसपास के कंटेक्स के मुताबिक की गई है जिसमें इंटरनल कोटियर दिया गया है जिसका पर्पस नेचुरल लाइट बिल्डिंग को देना है हर बिल्डिंग के बीच में एक सेमी कवर कोटियर दिया हुआ है जिसका पर्पस बिल्डिंग में लाइट और एयर सर्कुलेशन देना है 
खामिर स्लैब हाइट की उस तरीके से डिजाइन की गई है जिसमें नेचुरल लाइट बिल्डिंग में आ सके विरल सुनना हाँ बोल अपन ने खामिर देखा तो सही पर वो बना किससे है देखो पता है क्या उसके लिए मॉडल डिटेल देखनी पड़ेगी आपको देख दिखा दूंगा फाउंडेशन अभी स्ट्रक्चर फाउंडेशन से शुरू होता है तो बात करते हैं फाउंडेशन की खामिर में फाउंडेशन डीप रबल स्टोन मैसेनरी से कंस्ट्रक्ट किया है क्योंकि स्टोन आसानी से मिल जाता है ये बात हो गई सब स्ट्रक्चर की अभी बात करते हैं सुपर स्ट्रक्चर की वॉज वॉज बेसिकली तीन टाइप से बने हैं रेमडर्थ स्टेबिलाइज कॉन्क्रीट ब्लॉक्स और वाटर लैंड डॉक ग्राउंड स्टोरी की ज़्यादातर बिल्डिंग्स रेमडर्थ से कंस्ट्रक्ट की है जो अर्थ टेक्नोलॉजी से कास्ट किया है उसका मर्ड उसी साइड का यूज़ किया है लिंटल तक कंप्रेस्ड एंड स्टेबिलाइज्ड अर्थ ब्लॉक यूज़ किए और स्लैब रेन सीमेंट कंक्रीट से बनाए अभी बात आती है कॉमन क्वेश्चन की वाई क्यों क्यों वॉल्स में ये तीन टाइप से ही वॉल कंस्ट्रक्ट किए एंड द वेरी जेन्यून आंसर कि ये मटेरियल इजीली मिल जाता है और इसकी वजह से कॉस्ट इफेक्ट होती है जिससे कंस्ट्रक्शन की कॉस्ट कम हो जाती है सुन हितेश ये खामिर का कॉन्सेप्ट और प्लान है अरे रुक रुक इसमें एरिया प्रोग्राम दिखा देते हैं खामिर का टोटल एरिया 1500 स्क्वायर मीटर है जिसमें म्यूजियम पोल्ट्री वर्कशॉप ब्लॉक प्रिंटिंग वर्कशॉप वेविंग ट्रेनिंग सेंटर का समावेश होता है जिसमें यहाँ पे दिखाया गया है उसी तरह से लैंडस्केपिंग और सर्कुलेशन वेल डिजाइंड है अरे हमने ये खामिर की बिल्डिंग तो देख ली अभी इसमें ह्यूमन स्केल प्रपोशन कैसे देख सकते इसके लिए तो हमें सेक्शंस देखना पड़ेगा हमें खामिर के सेक्शन समझना क्यों इम्पोर्टेंट है ताकि हमें उसके लेवल डिफरेंस रूफिंग स्टाइल और ह्यूमन प्रपोशन का पता चले रूफिंग खामिर में मैंगलोटाइल से बनी हुई है पीच स्टाइल स्टील फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर रूफिंग में यूज किया गया है सुन प्लान सेक्शन से तो बड़े बड़े डिटेल समझ में आ गए अपन वॉल में भी अलग अलग मटेरियल यूज किए होंगे तो वो कैसे पता चलेगा उसके लिए ना अपन वॉल सेक्शन देखते हैं वॉल सेक्शन में अलग अलग मटेरियल का पता चलेगा प्लस वो कितने थिकनेस तक यूज किए हुए हैं वो भी पता चलेगा अगर वॉल सेक्शन की बात कर रहे जाए तो उसमें सबसे पहले स्टोन का फाउंडेशन दिया हुआ है स्टोन का काफ़ी स्ट्रॉन्ग मटेरियल है और उससे फाउंडेशन काफ़ी स्ट्रॉन्ग बनता है स्ट्रक्चर स्टेबल होता है उसके ऊपर रैमडर्थ की वॉल बनाई हुई है और जिसमें सिल और लिंटल बैंड्स दिए हुए हैं आरसीसी के स्ट्रक्चर स्टेबल रहे उसके लिए स्टोन का फाउंडेशन इसलिए दिया हुआ है क्योंकि भुज में भुज एक अर्थक्वेक प्रोन एरिया है तो वहाँ पर स्ट्रक्चर स्टेबल रहे और उससे अर्थक्वेक से प्रोटेक्शन रहे स्ट्रक्चर की इसलिए भी यूज़ किया हुआ है इसमें ऊपर वॉटर एंड डॉग कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्निक से कंस्ट्रक्शन वॉल्स का कंस्ट्रक्शन किया हुआ है जिस ये कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्निक में बैम्बू के फ्रेम्स बनाए जाते हैं और उसके ऊपर मड से मड से स्ट्रक्चर किया जाता है एंड उसके ऊपर स्लैंटिंग वॉल्स बनाई जाती है जिस पर मैंगलो टाइल्स होती है अरे हमने प्लान सेक्शन तो देखा पर खामिर बना कैसे इसके लिए हमें कंस्ट्रक्शन डिटेल्स देखनी पड़ेगी पहले बात तो बस अब बात करते हैं खामिर के कंस्ट्रक्शन की खामिर के हर स्ट्रक्चर के फाउंडेशन दो मीटर डीप होते हैं जो स्टिक फाउंडेशन मेथड से बनाए हैं जिसमें सीमेंट कंक्रीट का बेस है जो स्ट्रक्चर को स्टेबल रखता है अब बात करते हैं वॉल कंस्ट्रक्शन की वॉल बनाने के लिए बाम्बू का फ्रेमवर्क बनाया हुआ होता है जिसके ऊपर मट से लिपन किया हुआ होता है जो यहाँ पे फोटो में दिखाई देता है सी एस सी बी ब्लॉक इसमें मॉइस्चर अर्थ ब्लॉक होते हैं जिसको मैन्युअली प्रेशर दिया गया होता है वुड स्टील की फ्रेम के अंदर ब्लॉक फिल किया जाता है और वॉल बनाई जाती है अब बात करते हैं रूफिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन की रूफिंग के लिए पहले स्टील की फ्रेम बनाई जाती है उसके ऊपर कोरोगेटेड सीट लगाई जाती है उसके ऊपर इंसुलेटेड डाला हुआ होता है जिसका पर्पज वाटर प्रूफिंग होता है और रूफिंग में मैंगलो टाइल्स और अर्थ पॉट यूज किया हुआ होता है तो इसमें हमने क्या सीखा 
हमने सीखा खामिर की हिस्ट्री के बारे में खामिर का डिज़ाइन कॉन्सेप्ट कैसे उसके कंस्ट्रक्शन में नेचुरल मटेरियल्स यूज हुए हैं कंस्ट्रक्शन मेथड और कैसे हम आगे भी नेचुरल मटेरियल से अलग अलग तरह के कंस्ट्रक्शन कर सकते हैं थैंक यू and handicrafts is also a treasure trove in terms of architecture and design a beautiful play of structures well designed with natural material that is mud construction using different techniques like rammed earth water and adobe adobe bricks and transition materials like metal glass gypsum plaster A combination of louvers and patterns in doors and windows is seen adding to aesthetic appeal. Geometric shapes such as squares, rectangles were combined to form a single unit and combination of those units form a well-planned courtyard which also took care of community and gathering space. Practice so now talking about Khmer Khmer is well designed with natural material, well planned spaces with courtyard space in each unit. Community gathering is been kept in mind by planning the spaces. Now, moving on forward to form, it is a combination of squares and rectangle from each single unit and combination of units to form a cluster of space. So now here comes the technique different techniques like rammed earth water and adobe adobe are used in construct for the love of kutch and karigars of kutch kutch has a unique geography the sea on one side and the salt desert on the other this coincidence of the sea and salt desert is hard to find anywhere in the world we love kutch for a hundred reasons what can i say about the climate the cool breeze in the evening kutch is magnificent in winter and breathtaking in the rains so we students of architecture are going to represent our rsp group case study on living and learning design center many people have migrated to kutch the maldari communities came from central asia in search of grassland for the cattle they brought with them their culture The trading communities that traveled by the sea brought back the culture of those people and places. This link up of many different cultures gave rise to the rich and varied crafts of Kutch. There are 18 crafts in Kutch. To preserve that handmade craft, Chandavan Shop laid the foundation of LLDC. Her 40 years journey with the embroidery craftswoman has endured that their present and future livelihood is secure. They started from 30 women and reached 3000 women all doing embroidery of the highest quality. Different communities have different embroidery style. Chandaban Shop undertook a big project in which craftswomen of each community embroidered a different design. Each embroidered panel was a masterpiece. Only museum could do justice to such a collection. Museum was just the beginning. Urban designer and local craftspeople could collaborate to create new products that are relevant and market friendly. A time will come when there will be a craft school and working groups for all the craft The focus will be on creativity and excellence. They have begun to give shape and form to this vision and have called it LLDC, Living and Learning Design Center. The earthquake measured 7.7 on the movement magnitude scale and had a maximum felt intensity. The earthquake killed between 13,800 to 20,000 people. Bhuj, which was situated only 20 kilometers away from epicenter, was devastated. Over a million structures were damaged. Just four months after Gujarat government announced the Gujarat earthquake reconstruction and rehabilitation policy, the estimated cost was around 1.7 billion. The policy completed all its promises, and now. Bhuj is completely different place.
नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं आज आपको एल के सराउंडिंग्स के बारे में बता जा, बताने जाने वाला हूँ एल एल का टोटल साइट 35,000 स्क्वायर मीटर्स का है जो कि चंदा बेन श्रॉफ ने एल संस्था को डोनेट किया था इसका बिल्टअप एरिया 11,500 मीटर्स का है इससे सबसे करीब हाईवे 42 है जो कि आपको पूछ की तरफ लीड करता है इधर से पूछ का डिस्टेंस पंद्रह किलोमीटर का है जब आप एल के अंदर एंटर करोगे तो सबसे पहले आपको एक ग्रीन पैच दिखेगा जो कि चिकुवाड़ी है आगे जाते हुए आपको आम्बावेड़ी दिखेगी इसके आर्किटेक्ट्स इंडिगो आर्किटेक्ट्स ने इसके बॉर्डर लाइन कवर करने के लिए पाम ट्रीज का यूज किया था जब आप ये रोड को आगे फॉलो करोगे तो आपको अजरकपुर विलेज की ओर लेके जाएगा सबसे पहले आपको दिखेगा अजरकपुर सिटी स्कूल उसके बाद आपको एक बहुत ही प्रोमिनेंट घर जो कि इसमाइल खत्री जी का है वहां पर वो ब्लॉक प्रिंटिंग करते हैं जिस जिसकी साइड विजिट हमने हमारे आर के दौरान भी की थी जब आप अजरकपुर विलेज को और गौर से देखोगे तब उसमें आपको और क्लिनिक्स ग्रोसरी स्टोर्स और मेडिकल स्टोर दिखाई देंगे एल के एडजेसन प्लॉट्स में आपको कंप्लीट आपको एम दिखेगा और फुल ऑफ ग्रीनरी दिखेगी ये एक पीसफुल एनवायरनमेंट देता है क्राफ्टमैन को शांति से काम करने के लिए धन्यवाद को एल का प्लानिंग एक्सप्लेन करने जा रहा हूँ तो जैसा कि आप सब देख सकते हैं ये एल का साइट है जो 35,000 मीटर स्क्वायर है और जो बिल्टअप एरिया है वो 11,000 मीटर स्क्वायर है सो एज वी मूव फॉरवर्ड या वेरी स्टार्ट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग आप एक यहाँ एक ग्रीन पैच देख सकते हैं ये ग्रीन पैच चीकूवाड़ी और आंबावाड़ी है चीकूवाड़ी और आंबावाड़ी एग्जिस्टिंग ट्रीज ऑफ द साइट है जो पीसफुल एनवायरमेंट क्रिएट करते हैं क्राफ्टमैंस के लिए काम करने के लिए और जैसे कि हम आगे बढ़ेंगे तो यहाँ पे आपको दो बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक मिलेंगे जो तीन पार्ट्स में डिवाइडेड हैं जैसे कि पब्लिक एरिया सेमी प्राइवेट एरिया और प्राइवेट एरिया पब्लिक एरिया में आपको मिलेगा कैफेज रेस्टोरेंट स्टोर और टॉयलेट्स वगैरह और जैसे कि हम मेन बिल्डिंग में आते हैं तो यहाँ के पब्लिक एरिया में आपको मिलेंगे ऑडिटोरियम गैलरीज ऑडिटोरियम के अंदर भी अलग अलग पार्ट्स हैं और जैसे एग्जीबिशन एरिया है तो उसके अंदर भी उन लोगों ने अलग अलग चीज़ें क्रिएट किया जैसे एग्जीबिशन वन टू और थ्री और जैसे कि आगे बढ़ेंगे तो आपको यहाँ पे मिलेगा सेमी प्राइवेट एरिया सेमी प्राइवेट एरिया के अंदर एडमिन आपको मिलेगा और कॉन्फ्रेंस एरिया मिलेगा और जैसे आप आगे बढ़ेंगे तो यहाँ पर प्राइवेट एरिया आएगा यहाँ पर ही क्राफ्टमैंस काम करते हैं तो ये उनका एक वर्क स्पेस है इन लोगों ने प्राइवेट एरिया को पब्लिक एरिया से दूर रखा है जिससे इसका नॉइज़ इधर तक ना पहुँच पाए बिल्डिंग ओरिएंटेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्लाइमेट तो जैसे कि आप सब देख सकते हैं ये बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक है और उसके इस डायरेक्शन में इन लोगों ने कोर्ट एयर प्रोवाइड किया इस डायरेक्शन में कोर्ट एयर प्रोवाइड करने का ये एडवांटेज है कि जो सन रेज है जो इस डायरेक्शन की वो बिल्डिंग की बैक साइड पे फॉल होती है जिससे कि वर्क स्पेस और आर्ट गैलरी दिन भर लाइट अप रहती है तो इन्हें दिन में लाइट की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती और जैसे कि सन रेज जब वेस्ट सन जब वेस्ट डायरेक्शन में आता है तो जब इसकी सन रेज यहाँ फॉल होती है तो यहाँ पर उन्होंने सन शेडिंग डिवाइस क्रिएट किया तो यहाँ पर लाइट एंड शेडो का रोल प्ले होता है तो जैसे कि आप सब देख सकते हैं कि बिल्डिंग एक एल शेप में है जिससे कि वह नॉर्थ ईस्ट विंड और साउथ वेस्ट विंड दोनों कैप्चर कर सकती है तो जैसे कि हम जानते हैं साउथ वेस्ट विंड जो समर विंड्स है वो इन नेचर वार्म होती है तो उसको कूल cool डाउन करने के लिए उन लोगों ने यहाँ पे विंड टावर्स प्रोवाइड किए हैं और साउथ वेस्ट विंड डायरेक्शन में हम देख सकते हैं उन्हें छोटे छोटे ओपनिंग्स प्रोवाइड किए हैं फनल शेप में जो एयर को प्रेशराइज फॉर्म में अंदर लाती हैं और कूल कर देती हैं आज मैं आपको एल के विंड टावर की डिटेल समझाने वाला हूं। तो एल और इंडिगो आर्किटेक्ट्स ने यहां पे उनके साइड पे एक विंड टावर प्रोवाइड किया है और ये विंड टावर का बेसिक फंक्शन ये होता है कि वो विंड कैप्चर करता है और उसको कूल cool डाउन करके पूरे बिल्डिंग में रन करता है तो यहाँ पे विंड टावर्स में कन्वें उन्होंने कन्वेंशनल अप्रोच ना लेके यहाँ पे वॉल्स पे पूरे प्रोवाइड किए हैं बिस्लरी की बॉटल्स बिस्लरी की बॉटल्स होती है प्लास्टिक से बनी हुई तो प्लास्टिक का कोई लाइफ स्पेन नहीं फिक्स लाइफ स्पेन नहीं है जो वॉटर से इफेक्ट हो पाए तो जैसे ही वो हॉट एयर नीचे विंड टावर से कैप्चर होकर नीचे जाती है तो ये बिस्लरी की बॉटल से वहाँ पर पानी स्प्रिंकल होता है तो पानी स्प्रिंकल हो, होने से जो हॉट एयर है वो कूल cool डाउन होती है अब कोल्ड cool एयर का नीचे कोल्ड uh, एयर का नीचे ये है कि वो नीचे कलेक्ट हो जाती है और क्योंकि वो डेंस है तो डेंस एयर जैसे ही पंप के पास आती है तो पंप से वो पंप हो पंप आउट होकर डी ह्यूमिडिफायर चेंबर में जाती है डी ह्यूमिडिफायर चेंबर का काम ये है कि उसकी ह्यूमिडिटी कंपेरेटिवली कम कर दे 
ताकि वो ह्यूमिड एटमोसफियर ना बने और कपड़ों को इफेक्ट ना करे उसके बाद डी चेंबर से वो पूरे साइट में रन हो जाती है तो ये कोल्ड एयर एज अ ए सी एयर का ए सी एयर कंडीशनिंग एयर जैसा काम करती है पूरे एल साइट में अभी इससे दूसरा फ़ायदा ये है कि ये पहला तो ह्यूमन्स को कंफर्ट प्रोवाइड करती है और दूसरा कि ये जो स्ट्रक्चर दूसरी डिटेल ये थी कि जो स्लैब उन्होंने कास्ट किया है पूरे एल में वहाँ पे उन्होंने 300 सौ mm की जगह बीच में दो स्लैब के रखी है ताकि ये जो 300 सौ mm की गैप बन रही है वहाँ पे उन्होंने पाइप रन किए हैं जो ये कूल cool एयर समर के टाइम पे उसमें रन करते हैं तो उससे क्या होता है कि स्लैब का टेम्परेचर टू से टू थ्री डिग्री का ड्रॉप मिलता है उससे तो ओवरऑल टू से थ्री डिग्री का ड्रॉप मिलने से स्ट्रक्चरल टेम्परेचर भी ड्रॉप होता है वेर कम्पे बाहर का टेम्परेचर ज़्यादा है तो जब इतना बड़ा स्ट्रक्चरल मास ठंडा हो रहा है तो उनका ऑटोमेटिक रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ कूल एयर डिग्रीज हो जाता है तो कोल्ड ये जो अपना विंड टावर है उसका फ़ायदा ये भी है कि वो एसी एयर के तरह भी काम करता है और अपने आप स्ट्रक्चर को भी ठंडा करता है एल में दो एग्जीबिशन स्पेस है एक ग्राउंड फ्लोर पे और एक फर्स्ट फ्लोर पे जो ग्राउंड फ्लोर पे है वहाँ पे जो भी फैशन डिजाइनर्स और वहाँ के जो क्राफ्ट मैन होते हैं वो कोलेबरेट करके जो भी क्राफ्ट बनाते हैं वो प्रिजर्व करते हैं और सेकेंड फ्लोर पे वो लोगों ने एक और एग्जीबिशन स्पेस बनाया जहाँ पे वहाँ के क्राफ्ट मैन जो भी सारीज और एम्ब्रॉयडरीज होती है उनकी वो प्रिजर्व करते हैं और वहाँ पे कोई भी ओपनिंग्स नहीं दी हुई है उन लोगों ने डायरेक्ट स्काई प्रोवाइड की है और वो स्काई में वो लोगों ने डायरेक्ट सनलाइट आने के लिए डिफ्यूजर्स भी प्रोवाइड किए जिससे डायरेक्ट सनलाइट जो आए उससे जो भी वहाँ पे प्रिजर्व किया हुआ है एम्ब्रॉयडरी और साड़ीज उसको कोई भी डिफेक्ट ना पहुँचे इसलिए वो लोगों ने स्काई के अंदर डिफ्यूजर्स प्रोवाइड किए हुए हैं Now I will be talking about the construction details. The whole structure is a frame structure. The primary materials are brick and RCC. The slab is given an RCC finish as plaster can create cracks and fall off during earthquakes. The outer plaster is done by lime as it is locally available, it gains strength with time and it repels heat. The structure is divided in four parts. The joints in these four parts are installed with rubber sheets. which prevent the impact of one building to transfer to another which would prevent it from collapsing The learning from this case study was that we can build such a massive structure in the earthquake prone area and at the same time we can prevent it from falling as well being a public space can form the huge amount of food fall but then also fulfilling the demand of the cool air by non conventional way like wind towers is such a great learning also using all the local architecture features and adding it with a modern touch in the building savne shubh sagar आज अमे बी आर्क बीजा वर्ष विद्यार्थी भूज में अमे जो अभ्यास करो अमर अनुभव शेर करवा आया तो शुरू करिए प्रागमहल प्रागमहल ए भारत स्थापत्य आजी अभियोमा एक पोतेज पेराडॉक्स है 
જેનું નિર્માણ ઓગણીસમી સદીમાં કરવામાં આવ્યું હતું અને એ ભુજના આયના મહેલની બાજુમાં સ્થિત છે જે તે રાજા રાવ પ્રમાલજી બેના નામ પરથી રાખવામાં આવ્યું હતું તેનું બાંધકામ અઢારસો ને પાસઠમાં શરૂ થયું હતું અને અઢારસો ને ઓગણાએસીમાં પૂર્ણ થયું હતું તો હવે વાત કરીએ આપણે પ્રાગ મહેલના સ્થાનની પ્રાગ મહેલ શહેરની સીમમાં આવેલું એવું લાગે છે જાણે તે ઇટાલિયન સ્થાપત્યની પુસ્તિકાના પન્ના પરથી નીચે ઉતરી ગયું હોય પ્રથમ નજરમાં પ્રાગ મહેલ વિશે કંઈ પણ ભારતીય નથી અને આ હકીકત દ્વારા સમજાઈ શકાય છે કે કર્નલ સેન્ટ વિલ્કિન્સ એ તેને ગોથિક શૈલીમાં બના તો હવે આગળ વધીએ આપણે પ્રાગ મહેલના ઇતિહાસ તરફ ભવ્ય મહેલના નિર્માણમાં બરાબર બાર વર્ષ લાગ્યા હતા ભુજનો પ્રાગ મહેલ સમયની બે દુર્ઘટનાઓનો સાક્ષી બન્યો હતો પ્રથમ દુર્ઘટના બે હજાર એકમાં બની હતી જ્યારે ગુજરાત રાજ્ય ભૂકંપથી પ્રભાવિત થયું હતું જેણે પ્રાગ મહેલની માળખાકીય અખંડતાનો નાશ કર્યો હતો ત્યાર પછી જીર્ણોદ્ધારનું કામ પાછળથી શરૂ થયું હતું પરંતુ બે હજાર છમાં બીજી દુર્ઘટના સર્જાઈ અને મહેલની પ્રાચીન લખાણ અને અમૂલ્ય મૂર્તિઓ ચોરી થઈ ત્યાર પછી ગુજરાત સરકારે આ જગ્યાને હેરિટેજ સાઇટ જાહેર કરી હતી તેમજ ભારતનો બીજો સૌથી ઊંચો ઘડિયાળ ટાવર એ ભુજમાં સ્થાપિત છે માળખાકીય પાસાઓ અલીસે ઉલ્લેખ કર્યો છે તેમ પ્રાગ મહેલની કલ્પના કરવામાં આવી હતી ઇટાલિયન આર્કિટેક્ચરના ઉત્તમ નમૂના તરીકે વપરાયેલી સામગ્ર ઇટાલિયન માર્બલ અને હતી રેડ રેડ સેન્ડસ્ટોન સોલ્ડ ટીમ રાજસ્થાન પીગ મહેલમાં એક મુખ્ય હાવ છે જે ટેક્સીડોમીની વિશાળ યાદીઓથી ભરેલો છે ખૂબ સુંદરથી ભરેલો દરબાર હોય છે ઓવરહેંગિંગ ઝૂમ અને ઇટાલિયન સ્ટાઇલની મૂર્તિઓ હોલ અને સમગ્ર ડિઝાઇનિંગ મહેલ ભારતીય અને રસ પ્રસાધન મિશ્રણ દર્શાવે છે યુરોપિયન ગૌથિક શૈલી જાલી વુક જે સામાન્ય રીતે અને ભારતીય શૈલી શૈલી છે ફ્લોલા અને ફ્લોલિંગનું પ્રતિનિધિત્વ કરે છે જે મૂળ યુરોપિયન છે ત્યાં વિશાળ કોરન્થિયન થાંભલાઓ છે જે ફરીથી ઇટાલિયન ગૌથિક કલાના અર્ધપ્રતિષ્ઠક છે જે કેઝ્યુમ સેન્સ્ટોનથી બનેલી એક નાનકડી હિન્દી સાઇન છે જે આમાં હાજર છે આંગણું પાછળ મહેન અન્ય રસપ્રસદ સ્થળ વિશાળ ઘડિયાળ ટાવર છે જેની કુણ ઊંચાઈ પિસ્તાલીસ ફીટ છે આ ટાવર એન્ટાઇલ ભવ્યનું વ્યાપક દ્રશ્ય બાંધકામની તકનીકી સારી ગુણવત્તાની સિમેન્ટ સિમેન્ટ્સ સામગ્રી સાથે માટી ચૂનો સુખી માણસો સાથે જોડાયેલ વૈવિધ્યસભર કાટમાળના ચણતર વિશે વાત કરી તેની પ્રતિકારક ક્ષમતા ઓછી હતી મૂળભૂત કારણો મેસોનિલિયમ આંતરરાષ્ટ્રીય નબળાય છે એટલે કે તેનું વજન અને ઓછી તાળ શક્તિ જે હવામાનના કારણે બગાડને કારણે વધુ વકરી છે વિવિધ માળખાકીય સભ્યો અને ગુણવત્તામાં વિવિધતાને કારણે છે લાંબી દિવાલોની ઉથલાવી વિકર્ણ ઘડિયાળ સ્ટ્રક્ચરની તાણ નિષ્ઠા પ્રાગ મહેલ નંબર વન સ્પેસ ધ પેલેસ ઇઝ ઓફન કોલ્ડ હાર્ટ ઓફ ભુજ હેવિંગ સ્ટ્રોંગ રિઝેમ્બલન્સ વિથ ધ યુરોપિયન સ્ટ્રક્ચરલ પેટર્ન બટ પેલેસ સ્ટિક્સ ટુ લોકલ ટ્રેડિશન્સ એન્ડ ઇન્ટીરિયર્સ આર ડન વિથ વર્નેક્યુલર મટીરિયલ્સ ધ પેલેસ ઇઝ ડિવાઇડેડ ઇન ટુ સેવરલ ચેમ્બર્સ એન્ડ વોઝ ઓફન ઓક્યુપાઇડ બાય મેમ્બર્સ ઓફ રોયલ ફેમિલી ધ જાયજાન્ટિક પેલેસ હોલ રિમાઇન્ડ ઓફ પિક્ચરિસ્ક ઇટાલિયન ગોથિક સ્ટાઇલ કાસલ્સ courtyard and stone work is essence of india technique the stone technique is used to build this palace the whole construction is done with red sandstone from rajasthan and italian marble there are intricate carvings done on the walls with beautiful art and the most amazing thing is the jali wall on the jharokas these are exquisite in their appearance 
the popular jolly work is also done on the walls and windows that depict European plants and animals. The Grand Palace has Gothic style windows and Corinthian pillars around it. There is extensive use of pointed arches at the openings. They also use the stained glass window at the door. Number 3. Learning. We learn a lot about material, tradition, culture and its coexistence. Stone as a construction material was used skillfully. It was a wonderful experience visiting Prague Mahal. Let me take you to a short visit to the Vijay Vilas Palace located at Mandvi, Kutch. Here is the plan view of Vijay Vilas Palace. The plan follows vertical and horizontal symmetry. Cross ventilation has been taken care of while planning. The four corners of the palace have jarokas with intricate carved jalis with a majestic work of architecture. Let us focus on the entry. The entry opens up to the wide passage followed by the living room on the vertical axis. The exterior has the petal shaped windows with carved cornice and a weather shield projecting outwards. Talking about section, the section also follows the vertical axis and the cross ventilation which we have already shown in the plan which can be seen more clearly in the section. Vijay Villa's Palace Completed in 1929, this magnificent palatial structure was commissioned by Maharao Sri Khengarji III, the Maharao of Kraj, for his son, then the Yuvraj Sri Vijay Rajji. It is served as a summer palace for the royal family and later became their permanent residence after the Buja earthquake of 2001, a finest example of indo sassanic architecture. This palace has all the elements of Rajput architecture. Hello everyone, we the student of second year are going to present the documentation from our RSP trip through this short video. The video contains information about vernacular material and traditional material. RSP trips are basically teaching with fun. The journey of our tour begins at Vadodara and ends at Ahmedabad. We are going to show you the major material exploration at each place and how material choosing is essential in this short documentation. The places which we have visited are listed, so let's begin. is one of the examples in which brickwork can be arranged in artistic ways to create patterns of solid and void lattice work to let in light and ventilation. The ceiling is made up of jack arches and is have vertical sym structural symmetry. The major material we explored in DN Hall is exposed brickwork. The flooring in veranda and arches are also made up of brick. The BBA program building of Maharaja Sayajura University in Baroda is a part of HH Pratap Sira Gayakwad Parisar, which is also called Donors Plaza Master Plan. This is a place where architecture meets tradition. The patronage of education was initiated by Srimad Maharaj Sayajirao Gaikwad and this building of university continued the same legacy. The design of the building is derived from the architecture of our own city, Baroda, renowned for its values, tradition and cultures. The BBA building set is a plot of 43,650 square feet having a capacity of 760 students. It has a ground floor construction area of 15,290 square feet and first floor construction area of 16,840 square feet. The grandeur of the building begins with a gorgeous foyer and entrance hall, which reaches out to the various classrooms. The entire BBA building has an inward looking structure with a central green courtyard which is even mentioned in our Vastu Shastra as the Brahmasthan of a building. The connectivity in the building is maintained by the arched courtyard facing corridors and specially designed staircases. 
The BBA building is detailed with arches, columns and capitals running throughout the building, giving it an intimacy through its structure and continuity. Even the whole exposed brick and concrete wall lend an earthy tone to it. Three yellow brick bands running at intervals as well as interior beams which bring a sense of rhythm and dynamicity to the classic yet modern structure. This structure is planned with the entrance at the west which has two gates, one for two-wheeler and one for four-wheelers. The parking is designed for around 300 two-wheelers and 10 four-wheelers. There are two doors in the building, one the main door, second back entry and for physically challenged people. As we can see, there is a huge courtyard with plants and gardens. Various spaces are created surrounding the courtyard. The building has many segmental arches at every door and windows. The walls are also decorated by additional small columns. There are three types of staircase in this building. One, the dogleg staircase, second, straight staircase, and third, the helical staircase. The length of the flight changes as the person approaches the landing. The boys' washroom is on first floor, well as the girls' washroom is on second floor. In boys' washroom, there is very less space in the WC, and in boys' washroom, privacy is not maintained as if someone is on the terrace, washroom can be seen through the ventilations. And the blue square right here shows supply for drinking water. In this building, exposed bricks are used which mostly have Flemish bonds. On the columns and pillars in parking lot as well as in the entry area, cladding is done throughout the column exposing the stretcher face of the brick in a vertical position. The arches in the entire building are made up of polychrome stones. Still levels of the windows are also made up of polychrome stones. The columns present in the parking lot area as they look thinner from the side while wider from the front, creating a visual illusion. The Baroda Museum and Picture Gallery The museum located at Sayaji Bag was founded by Maharaja Sayaji Rao Gaikwad III. The foundation stone of the museum building was laid in year 1887 and the building was completed in year 1894. The construction of the Picture Gallery building started in year 1908 and was completed in year 1914. The double-storied museum is one of the most prominent examples of the Indo-Sarsanic style of architecture in India. The museum was designed by architects Major Manth and Robert Chisholm and was completed in the year 1894. For vertical load transferring system, the segmental and semicircular arches are used. The construction technique which is used is load-bearing construction and the material is majorly of brick and timber. In timber, saw wood is used as vertical and horizontal supporting member. The building has qualities such as repetition, rhythm, mirror, symmetry, mass and void, basic geometrical forms. Bamboo Resort near Chapane. Bamboo a sustainable building material. Bamboo is a raw material with which the stone is used in order to give structural strength to the cottages at resort, which is also have mezzanine flow. The center pavilion having bamboo as support is open to sky from center. It have joints of bamboo and also contains stone and different material in order to give structural strength to the structure. Residence at Gulmoho Greens The beautiful residence which have a fluid design and made up of CSCB compressed stabilized earth block. The residence also have a tree in the center which shows the structure is made from nature and is for nature. Even the motor used in CSCB joining is mud motor made from sandy soil.
Botic at Ambawadi, Ahmedabad. Facing is made up of CSEB, which is compressed stabilized earth block. In the middle of the city, the crowd have an eye-catching view as the facade or the facing of the bomb. Botic is CSEB and worked with such fluent design was full supports with reinforced concrete RCC. It is a commercial building for people to work, having a good environment with connected nature. CSEB provide a unique color and unique fluid design to the cooperation. The building look very unique and stylish from outside and also sustainable at the same time. Because it is made up of CSEB and the motor is also used is mud motor. Gandhi Ashram near Sabarbati River, Ahmedabad is made up of brick. The museum's monumental and archetypal recalls the well-known work of Louis Khan who began two projects in region shortly after Goya's museum was built. The materials used in construction are similar to the other buildings in the ashram. Tiled roof, brick wall, stone floors and wooden floors. The only additions are RCC channels which act as beam as and rain for conducts and which permit additional construction to be. No glass windows are used anywhere in the building, light and ventilation being provided by openable wooden lower.
got a different touch, not just having open space of power cut bamboo structure and roof. The founder by saying, from what we learned from here, from designing a structure, forming a useful space. Kutch, a land which is renowned for its ethnicity and culture, is the home to Hunar Shala, an association that promotes community and artisan empowerment. It works with a network of artisans to combine traditional techniques with innovation, resulting in buildings including in post-disaster situations that are eco-friendly, resilient and in keeping with local vernacular. They also train and empower artisan entrepreneurs, bringing them into the mainstream of construction and participate in community-led reconstruction and planning. Hunar Shala has worked on disaster rehabilitation in India, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Kashmir and Bihar, in Iran, Indonesia and Afghanistan. It has helped build more than 30,000 interim shelters and about 12,000 permanent reconstructions. Hunar Shala demonstrates that communities given the power to make their own decisions create the best solutions. Brick construction or brick masonry is the building of structures from individual units, that is, bricks, which are often laid in and bound together by mortar. An arch is an opening in a structure that is curved on top and designed to distribute weight, whereas a dome is basically an arch that has been rotated around its central vertical axis. Brick masonry arches are constructed with the aid of temporary shoring, termed centering, or permanent supports such as a structural steel angle. Advantages of bricks Economical due to easy availability, hard and durable, Compressive strength is good enough for ordinary construction. Different orientations and sizes give different surface textures. Very low maintenance cost is required. Mud is a building material which has already been tested and tried for thousands of years. In order to use it, the mud needs to be tested for its properties including the amount of organic matter and clay present in it. This affects the construction techniques. They are mainly of the type. Ramped earth. It's a building material made by compacting certain soils for making building blocks or for constructing whole walls in place layer by layer. Adobe brick is a material used for building that is made of organic materials such as earth, clay, straw, etc. Wattle and daub is a method in which a woven lattice of wooden strips called wattle is daubed with a sticky material usually made of some combination of wet soil, clay, sand, animal dung and straw. Mud construction benefits include low cost, good resistance to fire, good temperature insulation, good soundproofing, Rammed earth walls are constructed by ramming a mixture of selected aggregates including gravel, sand, silt and a small amount of clay into place 
between flat panels called formwork. Traditional technology repeatedly rammed by the end of a wooden pole into the earth mixture to compress it. Rammed earth wall is environment friendly as the binding material used is lime plaster. As time passes, the lime used as the building material starts gaining strength and at the same time it's all natural and locally sourced. So at the end, the product which comes out of it doesn't look like it's something different but it blends with the surrounding. Advantages Environment friendly to produce a single wall out of it will have less carbon footprint compared to other materials like brick, RCC, etc. Gains strength with time. The fall and texture look are very earthy, so it makes us feel more connected to the nature. It can be made from the same excavated soil of the foundation, so no extra energy is required in acquiring the material for the wall construction.